Sally, what would you say to anyone who's thinking of being an Arla rep or even Arla president? <laughs> I would say it's one of the best things I've ever done. Uh, I became an Arla rep back in, oh, I think it was probably about 2006, 2007, so I think for about eight years I was an Arla rep, then I got invited onto the Arla board, and then from the Arla board invited onto the presidential team, I now sit on the board still. But it was, it's almost like a second career, because you've got your career as a letting agent, and then you've got your Arla career. And it takes you through a whole new realm of learning that you just don't get as an individual letting in. I mean, what sort of time do we have to put in here? I mean, I was talking to David Botter. Hi, David. I uh, <laughs> love that man. And, and he says he's almost got two jobs. Yeah. You've got to do your daytime job as an agent, run the agency, and also be an art. But do you get something back in return? Oh, a huge amount. Uh, you get more than you put in. I mean, as an Arla rep, you've got like, two to three meetings a year, a couple of, um, you know, um, Arla rep meetings and that's it really but what you get back from it is to be put into an environment that as an individual letting agent you would never see so you go into a room with 30 40 other very experienced letting agents you sit with the presidential team you get David Cox for an hour to an hour and a half giving you all the latest piece of political bulletins what's going on what's happening stuff you would just never hear of because it's not in the news you know what the government's talking about what they're thinking about what's going to happen next it just gives you and your business and your mindset it, it just opens your eyes um, because when you quite often in business as you know Chris you, you focus on your thing and your desk and what's going it's on it's the in the business world. versus on the business it yeah. is yeah and when you become like our rep and go that it just opens up the world it becomes a totally different perspective it's do you do you learn anything that helps you in your directly in your business I'm not talking about getting more landlords but tips and guidance from other reps to help you in your letting agency itself yeah you do because you you learn what other people do and from that you can learn what's good and also I'm not doing that um, so you get that perspective but I think for me it was the political angle and I've really embraced that the whole political side um, what the government's talking about what happens in Scotland what happened in Wales because I would not normally know from I'm sitting here in Wolverhampton I wouldn't know what's going on in Scotland and Wales but I now know that the Welsh rent smart Wales and the aspects of what's going on there and the challenges it's faced I now know about the private tenancies bill up in Scotland and how well that's been received and also some of the challenges it's had and and obviously what the English government is looking at both of those and saying well which one are we going to adopt so I feel like I'm two to three years ahead with a few we could go this way or that way or that way but we're not going to go that way so I have a bit of an idea for my business as to what the future looks like because we're looking at the political aspects all the time I think for me Chris that was the big thing other people take away other things um, a lot of the reps they really love the legal learning you know the legislative learning and, and that side of things so and some people just love the camaraderie and having if you're a single business owner and you work on your own it's a lonely place what better than to sit with 20 30 other highly experienced letting agents from all over the country and and chat and have someone to share ideas with and stuff so it's different for everybody but for me it's been awesome thank you so thank you